What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Zai, and I am coming to you with another video. Today is going to be a little bit different. I want to come on here and talk to y'all. I, I need to rent. I need somebody to talk to. So, I'm going to talk to y'all. Y'all my family. And let's just get right into it. This is going to be a story time. This is not going to be nothing about The Sims, PC gaming, none of that today. We strictly doing a story time about my nails i recently went and got my nails done and i mean from far away they look they look okay this story time is basically about me being over these asian nail salons i keep having bad experience after bad experience to the point where when i go into a shop I'm already anxious. I got a, a lot of anxiety built up because I already don't feel comfortable going in there. So usually I go to a local nail shop here in my area. But recently a lot of the nail shops that I've been to in my area, they're just not what I'm looking for. They don't provide the quality that I'm looking for when it comes to my nails, especially the money that I'm spending you know to get my nails done i went to one nail tech she was a black nail tech and she did an amazing job she was awesome but the problem with that is she was always booked i could never book an appointment in advance like i just could never get in touch with her so sometimes when it was urgent and i really needed my nails did i would end up having to go to a asian nail salon i'm not trying to say this is nothing against asians this is just my experience going to the nail shop that has predominantly asian people in there working and I keep having the same experiences over and over. So there's no nail shops in my area that I want to go to. So last night I'm looking online trying to see about some nail techs that I could possibly, some nail salons that I could go to in another city. So I found this one nail shop and the reviews look pretty good. They look like a new establishment. They don't have many pictures up, but the pictures they do have up, they look pretty decent. I get to the place and I walk in. It's 9.40. The nail salon opened at 10. They see people pulling up, so they go ahead and open the door. Okay, so I walk in and I'm looking at the little cards, the little business cards, and I realize that I don't came to the wrong place. Like they don't set me down and I don't tell them what color I want and everything. And then that's when I realized I'm not even at the right place I'm supposed to be at. But the establishment was, ooh, excuse me, but the establishment was so nice and it was so clean and the staff was so friendly. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay and I'm going to give them I'm gonna give them a chance. I'm gonna give them a chance. They got good customer service. The staff is really nice and it looked really clean. And I love the decor that they had in there. They Everything was brand new. The massage chairs, everything was organized. It just looked nice. So I was like, I'm gonna give them a chance. Y'all, I'm gonna post some pictures of what I asked for. So I needed a full set a full acrylic set I want a French um, French tips like this but I'm gonna show you a picture of what I asked for and then I'm gonna show you what they gave me because right now they look good they look good from far away but when you look at them up close baby girl you gonna see that it's something ain't right something ain't right they know they didn't do right they know they didn't do right I went ahead and paid my money but I'll never go back again. I went in, I just, I've had some old gel on my nails. I just wanted them to do a gel change, uh, um, gel color change on my toes. And I wanted a full set on my hands. The first red flag was, the guy asked me what service I needed. I said, I need a full set and I need a color change on my toes. I have gel on there now. I just want to change to another color. So he said, do you want a pedicure? And I said, no, I want a full set acrylic with French chips and I want a gel change on my toes. He proceeds to say, 
okay, so you don't want pedicure? And I'm like, no, I don't want a pedicure. I want a full set acrylic and a gel change on my toes. So this was the first red flag. I should have just walked out then. But you know what? I'm like, okay, he's trying to upsell. He's trying to sell the services in there because at the end of the day, they're a business. So I'm like, okay, I just got to be stern and let this man know what I want. And the whole time I need to pay attention because they'll try to add on extra stuff, which is what I'm going to get to later on in this story. So I told him what I wanted and he told me to go over to the chair and sit down so i sit down in the chair and the lady who is about to do my nails she hasn't arrived yet so it's probably like 10 15 and the store opened at 10 o'clock so she bum rushed in she late i've been sitting there waiting because i think the two other ladies that were before me had appointments so they went ahead and started on their nails i didn't have an appointment which is understandable so she bum rush in she laid and she come in she like why everybody looking at me why everybody looking at me i'm like we're looking at you because you're late like your boss is looking at you because you're late and you got clients waiting like it's people that need their nails done so she comes over and she asks me what i want and I said, I want a full set acrylic and I need to change the color on my toes. Currently I have gel on my toes and <clears throat> I need to change the color. If I'm looking now, it's cause I'm looking at my toes cause I'm, I'm playing this out in my head as well. So I tell her I need to change the color on my toes. And she said, well, what color do you want to change them to? And previously I had pink on my toes and I told her white. And she's like, so you want white? And I was like, yeah. Like, I, I kind of said like, yeah. Like, a question like, yeah. Because I'm thinking like, is this something wrong with me getting white? And she like, so you just want plain white? You don't want nothing else? Like, you don't want no color? And I'm like, yeah, I want the color white. That's, that's what I'm asking for. And she was like, okay, you don't want no design, nothing, just plain white? And I was like, yeah, just just plain white. Just just plain white. That's it. It's simple. It's simple. And she like, okay. And I'm like, okay, she finally get it. She started working on my toes first. They told me they would get to my nails later. So she started working on my toes. And she asked me, do I want my toenails to be cut down? Mind you, I keep my toenails pretty low at home anyways. So they didn't need to be cut. I just wanted them to be fouled. I just wanted them to be shaped up. So she was, she asked me like, hey, do you want me to cut down your toenails? Mind you, I think they charge like $5 to do a cut down on long nails. But my toenails aren't that long. So I was like, no, I just want you to shape them up. I don't really want to cut them down. I told her I have sensitive feet. So I have had experiences where the nail tech have cut my toenails too low and it make my toes ache. So I was like, no, don't cut them down low. Just leave them how they are and just shape them up. And she's like, okay, I cut down just a little bit. I'm cut down just a little bit. And that was the second red flag. Okay. The second red, well, the third red flag. Cause I already told you, I don't want you to cut it down. You, you, I already told y'all, I don't want you to cut it down. You're going to try to charge me and tell me I asked for a cut down when I ask you to just shape it. So I reiterated, I said, no, I don't want you to cut it. I just need you to shape them up and file it down a little bit. Do not cut my toenails. Cause I'm thinking in my head, I don't want you to cut too deep into my skin because I'm going to be pissed. Okay. So she's like, okay, okay. So she kind of seemed like she getting a little rowdy. Like she getting a little upset because I'm being very vocal about what I want. Like I came into, into the salon knowing what I want. So she got a small nail file that's a little bit on the gentle side. Then she got a big nail file that is 
more so used for like acrylic nails it's more so used for acrylic nails like when you're trying to file down like acrylic or gel i don't think that's something you should be using on your natural nail it's just too harsh so she filing down my nail and I'm telling her that hurt. Like, first of all, the nail file she was using was too big for my toes. I don't know why she was using it. So I tell her that, you know, you hurting me. Like she digging into my cuticles on the side to try to get the nail polish off. Instead of trying to soak the gel polish off, which I know you have to take the shiny layer off first. You have to take the shiny layer off first and then you let the gel soak off. But she didn't even, she wasn't even patient enough to let the gel soak off. She was trying to foul the gel off my toes. And then the little, the little polish that gets stuck in the crevice of your toes, she literally was digging into my skin trying to get the polish out of there. I'm like, bro, why don't you just let it soak? Like, what are you in a rush for? Because one, because one, I'm gonna be pissed if I start bleeding. Because you're digging into my skin, I'm telling you that this hurts. And her response was, "Well, I'm trying to get all the polish off. I'm trying to get all the polish off." And I'm like, "This baby girl, that's that's no excuse. You still, if if I'm getting my nails done, the the purpose of women getting their nails done is supposed to be relaxing. It's not supposed to be this anxious." uh scary type of it's not supposed to be this anxious environment like this is supposed to be a relaxed environment i shouldn't be sitting on the edge of my seat because i'm afraid you're gonna cut me or dig into my skin too deep or hurt me you know what i'm saying like i should be able to trust you as a nail tech but at this point baby girl i don't i don't trust you at all because you ain't you started off wrong you you really did start off wrong so instead of her apologizing and being like you know i'm so sorry i did go a little deep into your nail like i'm not trying to hurt you or anything you know she could she could have checked in with me periodically to make sure that i'm good but no she responded with well i'm trying to get the polish off your toes okay so that was another red flag i should have just got up so she's getting to, she's still working on my toes and she done got to the buffing process. You know how they got that little buffing block and they use that little buffing block to buff it out and make it all smooth and stuff. Y'all, I see her drop the buffer on the floor and I'm looking at her. And you know how they, they be sitting in the chair. So you, you sitting in the massage chair. So you a little bit higher than than them so you looking down I'm, I'm looking down at her and like she 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 looking up at me and then she kind of like trying to look to the side like that to see if i saw it and i'm like girl yeah yes i saw you drop that and then she was like i got it i got it so she picks it up and put it back into her little cart thing with all her tools and she started back using the uh file i'm like First of all, I'm like, why are you even using a file? Like, you ain't even on that step no more. You you on the buffing step. So anyway, she I guess she pretending that she's shaping up my nails because they already shaped up. It, they don't need no more shaping up. And she grabbed the buffer that was dropped on the floor and start um, buffing my nails. And I'm like, hold up, you you didn't even sanitize that. You just dropped it on the floor. And she was like. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. And she sprayed some alcohol on my toes as if that's supposed to make a difference. I'm like, okay. Y'all, I don't know what I was thinking because at this point, I should have got up. I should have got up, but you know, I really, she had already started on my toes and I just wanted her to finish and I just wanted to get up and leave. I want them to be done with the service. And I want to get up and leave. At this point, I had already decided that I'm never coming back to this salon ever. So anyways, she finished my toes. And y'all, while she doing my toes, 
I'm literally looking at her sideways because I'm like, why is she putting polish on my cuticles? Like, why is she painting that far down to my cuticles? Like, when you when you paint when you paint your toenails and you paint all the way to the cuticle, it make it look messy. Like, I'm gonna show y'all some pictures. I'm gonna put some pictures right here to show you how my toenails look. Y'all, I hope y'all not disgusted by toes or anything like that, but I'm gonna show y'all how she did my toes. And I was very disappointed, very disappointed. And you know, the crazy thing is, I don't even say nothing. Like, she put the gel on my nails, and right at the very end, I don't say anything because I'm gonna see if she step up and say, you know what, this is a messy job, let me do this, or, Maybe she'll stop and try to clean it up. But no, she didn't do none of that. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna walk up out of here and I'm just repeating my head. I'm like, I'm repeating my head. I'm never going to come back to this establishment ever again, ever. I'm not, I don't think I wanna go back to a nail salon, period. Especially, I, I, unfortunately, if it's Asian based, like I just, I've had so many bad experiences until I go to a nail salon with outstanding experience, with outstanding customer service and outstanding quality. I'm just not really into the whole nail salon thing anymore like at this point i've started following some of my black sisters that do nails on the side for a little extra cash and they instagram be popping and those nails be looking nice honey because it seemed like the, the it seemed like these salons they they not up to date they trying but they they not there they're they're not there and i'm tired of giving my money to them and feeling like I'm the one that lost because at the end of the day, you're still a business. You still got my money. And the only way that I can stop feeling like that is if I stop giving you my money and go to where I know I will receive quality service. So for this, from this point forward, that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> but I don't want this video to be too long. There is a second part to this. And I'm gonna tell y'all about the nail tech who did my hands because a lady did my toes and a man did my hands. So if y'all wanna see part two of that and y'all wanna see these photos of these nails up close, go ahead and click right here so you can go to the second video. Peace out family, I love you.